Hey, what's up guys? Team Hardlife Captain Albert Sertucci here. All right, so this is something I've thought about before, but I hadn't really jumped on it until I got asked today. And it involves connection between hollow core and a solid braid. How can we make the knot smaller without impeding the line capacity and or knot strength? Hollow core to hollow core, it actually increases it to 110%. So, I had thought, why can't we just put the solid braid into the hollow core and tie it off like that? That's all I thought. I didn't ever actually put more thought into it until I had a phone call today. And a customer was asking if we can do that and so forth. I said, well, the real question is, how do you keep the hollow core, once it comes over the solid braid, how do you keep it in place? Well, as I was sitting there talking with them, I started to think, you know, as we do monofilament inside, we tie the hollow core on the outside with the closeout knot. So I'm just sitting there thinking, I'm like wondering, would it be able to hold the solid break the same way? I mean, I don't see why not, but at the same time, nobody's ever done it. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do it. And if you don't like it, change the channel. All right guys, so right here I've got 100 pounds solid of the Jerry Brown, and I've got 100 pound in the hollow core, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get it spliced in here. And since this is a solid, I'm gonna go ahead and do it like I regularly do mono. I'm gonna start from the beginning here. And I'm going to go in, you know, about 18, 20 inches or so. As you can tell, there's the end point of the hollow or the solid braid into my hollow core. All right. So now that I've got it in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move over to another section where I can add tension to it and do my closeout knot there. So. Uh, all right, so what I'm gonna be doing too is I'm gonna be using some Gorilla Glue. Can So you, you don't know where you're going to go fish at either? No, no, I was going to ask that. Where's a good place to go? Um, are you trying to, you said you want to fish a pier or jetty, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you looking to just catch and release or you yeah. like try, trying to well, catch I, something to eat? I may keep something, I don't know, but I have no way of freezing it and sending it back home, so. Where are you from? Indiana. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, how bad are the winds right now? The winds are picking up. We got that rain getting ready to hit. But after they come, we're
right, so now that I've got my knot set up on here, and let's do this. You can see my knot, and granted it looks like crap on this side because I was trying to do it in reverse. I don't know why I was thinking that, but I got in, got it corrected for the rest. And like I said, this is just a small test of solid braid to hollow core. See if it'll hold. I'm gonna have my buddy Gary give me a hand, and we got 100 pound to 100 pound, and we are gonna pull until it breaks. And the reason I wanna do this is to see if the knot will slip. And yeah, it's basically that. If the knot slips, well then it won't be any good. But if it breaks elsewhere, then it lets us know that the knot held. So that should be enough proof right there to let us know that it works. So again, I'm just making sure I don't have any slack on here. into the spool yeah. several layers so that shows you how much pressure we put on it so I am convinced now that I can connect solid brain to hollow core you've seen it here first guys hard lines made and tackle team hard life captain Albert Zucchini check you on the next one that was impressive <laughs>